Ahoy, salty dogs! I'm Lenscap. Welcome back to Project Titan! Uh, in today's episode, we're going to start, um, as per usual, by taking a tour and looking at some of the updates from our live stream. Um, let's see, did I change anything in this room? I don't think I changed anything in this room. Uh, one thing we did, though, was uh, we completely redid the bathroom. So I want to take a look at the bathroom first, and uh, we'll take a look at some of this stuff. So, paper towel dispenser's still there. I feel like that's a very important and vital piece of our bathroom area. But I did change out the sinks. Um, I felt like these ingot, these ingots kind of looked more like a basin. So we did that. We swapped out the mirrors for, for ice. Uh, they were blue crystal, like a slab against the wall before. I feel like the ice has a more mirror feel. I'm not sure though, but it, it I like it. I like the change. And then uh, we also gave a little bit of counter space. You gotta have some counter space by your sinks. I feel like, um, yeah, because you never know. Um, we also changed our toilets slightly, so they are like they're not. Um, what's the word? They're not as private, but they weren't really private before. <laughs> so who cares? Uh, we added, we changed the showers up quite a bit. Um, I was able to add another shower. I was actually able to add another toilet as well. We only had two before, so this gave us a little bit more um, kind of space for our facilities. I like these shower designs, though. It feels like water. Um, it, it feels like a shower. I added these little lights, and they kind of act as, like, shelves for your soap and your toothbrush and stuff like that. Um, is it weird? I brush my teeth in the shower. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't do that, but uh, that's where I like to brush my teeth. Anyway... <laughs> Um, we also redid the galley, so let's climb up this ladder or jump as Starmate is, and uh, take a look at the changes we made here. So first, um, the first like obstacle we had to overcome was that the the entrance to the galley was like in the middle of the room, or or you know like not quite dead center, but you know what I'm saying, like in the way. So I had to kind of build this. Uh, area for the ladder, which I think works out. I like this, um, but it does kind of stick up weirdly in the middle of the room. So I added a little bit of detail to give it a reason to stick up weirdly, um, or at least make it look not so out of place. Um, redesign the soda machine. Um, I gotta have the soda machine, though. I freaking love that idea so much. Uh, <laughs> so we redid the soda machine, and I like, um, I like version 2 here pretty well. I actually need to add one block behind this console, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, because you can see through there, but we can do that in just a second. Um, but yeah, I like the redesigned soda machine. It feels a little bit more... I don't know, a little bit more refined, I guess. Um, we've got a table here. Uh, these are interesting chairs, I think. Um, you can't sit on them, but... You you know, once we get real chairs in StarMate, if it ever happens, then uh, I'll add those instead, so it doesn't really matter. There's like a wet bar. Um, this is supposed to be like a beer tap or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> it kind of works, I guess. And uh, so we've got our buffet here. It's uh, Tuesday taco night. It, every night. So tacos every day here on this uh, frigate ship. Let's come over here. You grab a tray. You got some taco meat, some cheese, some lettuce. And beans or something uh, for your tacos. We like tacos. Um, I extended the galley to uh, a little bit so we could have a room for like a kitchen or like a prep area. And I feel like that's an important thing. We just had like one stove before and it was just way too small. So now we have uh, an actual like kitchen sized area. And I think that works better. Um... I use these, check this out, for stoves. Isn't this amazing for, like, a range top? It's perfect. It even glows a little bit in the middle. I love this. I love this. So we've got, like, a range top here. Um, this is supposed to be, like, a big refrigerator or something. I don't know, some kind of kitchen equipment. Uh, we got some storage shelves for our Y holes. And uh, this is, like, a head of lettuce, maybe? It's a cactus, but... Um, this is, like, a prep table in the middle. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of works. We've got a uh, a little walk-in cooler. I don't know. It kind of works, but I, I think it's an interesting. I think it's an interesting room, and uh, it it adds some detail to the ship where it was completely lacking in detail before. 
Um, one thing we tried to do was um, the sneeze guard kind of thing. This is a weird situation because, like, you know, like, if you're thinking about what a sneeze guard does at, like, a buffet, then it, it, it obviously it keeps you from sneezing on the food. That's what's called a sneeze guard. But uh, we couldn't really do that. So I, I just kind of put it way up above. And it works. It works. This way we get kind of a glass a glassy feel, and it also emits some light, so I like that. I did try and move these grates so that they were butted up against the wedges, and if you flip the grates over so that they're kind of angled the other way, I don't know if I explained that well, but if you do that, then it looks like they should be able to butt up against a wedge block. Um... And uh, I spoke with one of the developers, Saber was actually hanging out in my stream when we did that, and he said that they indeed are supposed to react that way. However, there's a problem with the collision box for the grates right now. Uh, they take up an entire block when they should only take up a slab, obviously. So that's something that uh, that they're looking at and, and working on adjusting. Um, okay, I think that's about all we did. Oh, we did some work in the engine room as well. Let's head up over that way. It's a little bit of a trip, so um, that is, let's see, we got to go back up to the bridge and then around back. This ship is like, it's a labyrinth, man. It's hard to find your way around if you don't know your way around already. Uh, I mean, I guess that's somewhat by design, though. We don't want it to be easy to board our ship and, and find out where stuff is. Um, okay, for today's project, though, uh, well, actually, let's look at this first, and then we'll talk about today's project. So I redid just a few things in the engine room. Mainly, I redid this floor, um, just so that it feels a little bit more mechanical. But I like it. I, I think it's coming along. Oh, I also learned that, uh, you can hide lights behind the consoles, and they'll let light shine through. Now, up here, I've got the red lights. You can kind of see them hidden back there. Um, but that's good to know for later, so that's a good tip for later on. If we need to hide a light, we can hide it behind those consoles. Um, okay, uh, I want to work on a couple of other things, just some piddly cleaning stuff and some housekeeping stuff. So I'm going to do a couple of progress updates, and then we'll get started on a, uh, a project, actually, for the episode. Okay, just a few changes. Actually, one other thing I want to do real quick uh, before we get started. I completely forgot to fix... Let's do red. The back of that vending machine. Um, I made some changes in here, though. Nothing spectacular. I just added this kind of uh, rack above the prep table. You know, somewhere to hang your like pots and pans and stuff. Okay, uh, did I make any other changes? I think I... I don't remember. If you notice any other changes, I made those too. <laughs> um, I started working on some armor plating again. I, uh, I moved some armor plating up to the front, and I've been started kind of fleshing out what that's gonna feel like. And, um, I'm, I'm digging this armor plating. It's, it's very, very work in progress, though. There's not a lot of progress either. So we're probably what I'm going to do is cover the ship in armor like this, and then we'll go and, and clean up that armor and make it a little bit fancier. Um, I think the big change that I made, though, was I, I made way for the escape pods, so they'll work now. They uh, they can launch. They The launch mechanism is in place. Um, the only thing left to do with these guys is create a little, like, cap doorway to kind of seal them off. Um... It's not necessary, but I think it'll look cool when we launch the escape pods. It'll blast off this door, and then the escape pods will launch out after. Um, I think that'll be a really interesting kind of mechanism for those, for launching those. All right, continuing work on the armor bits on the front bit. Guys, this is exciting for me. It's starting to look like a spaceship. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Um, so the armor bits are pretty interesting. I've, I've worked out this area under here as well. Uh, we're going to do some like exposed system stuff down here. I think that's going to be interesting. Um, we still need to figure out how we're going to do our airlocks and what's going to go in these like side pod areas here. They may just be weapon systems. Um, 
Now, looking into this, there's not a whole lot of room in this ship for actual systems. So that's definitely going to have to be something we consider uh, going forward. It's it's definitely an RP style ship, um, given that light. <laughs> What else did I do? I, I was trying to toy around with the idea of thrusters and where they're going to go and how they're going to fit in. So I added some of these thrusters here and uh, just kind of to visualize what it's going to look like, get an idea of the silhouette of the profile of the ship. I think it's cool. I think it works. Uh, these These two thrusters on this side, and then we'll make some bigger thrusters for the back maybe. I think that could be good. Um, what else? I changed up a little bit of the detailing, um, with this gray bits, with these gray bits here. They were brown before, and added a little bit more detailing on the side like this. Um, just trying to give it some more detail, like it's, it's really brown and boring, and maybe not boring, but it's really brown and plain, and I want to add some extra, like, greebling to it so that it looks more interesting. Okay, so for this update, I've added even more armor panels, I think. Did I have these here before? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Here's some more armor panels. It looks pretty good. Uh, the big change in this one is that I removed these thruster pods on the sides. Um, I, they were an interesting addition and a good thought, but I'm not quite sure I'm a huge fan of how I had executed that. Um, I, I think we can do that better. I left these thrusters here, but only as a reminder to myself that I like that idea. They may stay, they may go. Um, they're just a copy of the thruster on the back of this, by the way, if you're curious of where that came from. It's just a copy, like a template that I saved of, of this style thruster. So that's there. Um, I finished out the armor around this cargo pod bay. I like that. It it kind of frames it out nicely and um, without obscuring anything. Um, I also added in like, I guess like a fender well. It kind of feels like a fender well on a car um, for the inside of this. And it uh, looks like we could throw some wedges in to kind of clean that up a little bit. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I like this detailing, though. I, I It's coming along. It's not quite where I want it to be, but it's coming along. Um, you can see I also removed the three rings on the back that were to indicate thrusters. I think what we'll do instead is two big thrusters, one up here and one down here. And then we'll use these side thrusters. We may still have thruster pods as well, but I don't think... I don't think they'll be as major of a feature as we had previously in this. But uh, I'm I'm not ready to throw thrusters on the very back yet. I'm still trying to decide on what to do about the end of this hallway. Um, I had toyed around with the idea of putting the captain's quarters over here, but there's not really a lot of room anymore for that. Um, maybe we can still do it, but I'm not sure. We'll have to think about that one a little bit further. The captain definitely needs some quarters, though. Um, I also played around with this area. Uh, previously, it was just flat, stair-stepping kind of shapes. And I kind of gave it a little bit of a curve. Um, it works. It works, though. And I, I like it. I uh, We may clean that up a little bit more as well, but maybe not. I think it's pr in a pretty good spot, honestly, as far as that goes. But who knows? Who knows? Everything could change um, between the next clip, even. And uh, and even I don't know what's going to happen, so because <laughs> sometimes I just get sidetracked. Um, for today, I think let's start a project for uh, for this video. I think we want to do a med bay today, and we're going to put that inside right here. Um, so if you come down the elevator, if you go to the right, this takes you to the ladder where the crew quarters is. If you go to the left, uh, this will bring you into our medical bay. Now, I want to do some interesting things for our medical bay. I want to have a couple of moving parts. So we're going to need, like, um, let's call it, let's call it a MRI, but it's more of like an auto doctor, maybe, like a mechanism that can, um, you can lay down on the bed and it slides you into a chamber and, and like an auto surgery center, maybe. That could be kind of cool. Um, I think we'll put a cryopod in there as well. Maybe two. Maybe two cryo chambers as well. 
just so that if your wounds are very severe, if we're not equipped, then we can freeze you and take you back to wherever <laughs> and uh, take you out of storage and fix you up there. Okay, let's get some blocks going. I got a little carried away uh, <laughs> working on this med bay, so we're going to do a walkthrough. It's not quite finished, but it's pretty close. Um, oh, one thing I changed was I, I kind of color coordinated these two hallways. Um, orange for crew, blue for medical. I feel like that works okay. It kind of gives you a better idea of uh, navigating inside the ship. Um, I tried to do display modules in places, but I just couldn't make it work um, in any way that I actually liked. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, so here's here's our med bay. Uh, it's a little bit dark in here. I, I kind of want to add more lights, but at the same time, I kind of want it to feel dark. I'm not sure what to do about it yet. Um, but here's what we've got. So there's, like, two little... Uh, like sick beds here for you know if you if you're just getting triaged or if you have like a like a small illness or something. Although these are like like IVs with blood bags, so I guess maybe these people don't have small illnesses. I don't know. These are things that can be handled in the med bay. <laughs> we'll we'll go with that. Um, I've got these two cryopods. They don't actually do anything right now, but I'm gonna hook it up so that. Um, this button activates a door that opens and closes um, into the floor and stuff, so you can go stand in them. I kind of like the blue glow they give off. I think that's an interesting touch. I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like that. There's a quarantine here with uh, kind of an airlock. It's a glass door, and this door's closed, but there's there's another glass door, so in theory you have all of the glass doors like, shut as you need them. Like that. Oh, I see, because they're touching. Because the blocks are touching. When you open one, it opens both. Hmm, that could be a problem. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's all for show anyway. So, we've got a quarantine. Um, I like the quarantine. I do. I, I think that's a pretty decent touch. I made that room a solid white room. Just, it. I feel like it stands out a little bit more uh, as a quarantine that way. So that works. Um, here is our auto doctor. The auto doctor also doesn't do anything, but I'm going to hook up this button so that this bed kind of slides in and then slides out when you push the button again. Or maybe it slides in and then after a couple seconds it slides back out. That's a possibility as well, just to give it some kind of animation in here. Um, probably will never actually use this room, but it, it'd be kind of interesting to have that stuff. Um, the ceiling was difficult for me because I wanted an interesting ceiling, but I, there's a room right above this. The crew quarters is right above this, so I didn't really have a lot of space to add any depth here. So I actually just put this pipe going in, and, uh, you can still fit under it. There's even a little bit of room to jump. I like that it feels kind of tight quarters, honestly. I like that because it, um... You know, we've got the whole, like, we've got that as a theme going on through the whole ship, I feel like, is kind of tight quarters, you know, small hallways, uh, tighter access areas. Like, it's, 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 it's got an interesting mix of open spaces and closed spaces. And, uh, and I feel like the med bay adds to that. This should be a stair, shouldn't it? We did stair, stairs elsewhere, so let's do stairs here too. Um, anyway, that's an aside. Uh, the only complaint, really, for me right now is that this room's pretty dark. I think maybe we put a light in the entryway here somewhere. That could fix it. That's really all it needs, I think, actually. Um, some kind of lamp or something, maybe. Alright, so, uh, I got the auto dock all wired up. Uh, this is pretty, pretty simple mechanism. I'll show you how it works, and then I'll show you the logic. Um, super easy, super easy. So, you hit the auto doctor button. It inserts the patient um, into the surgery center, and then after a couple moments, it spits your patient back out, hopefully uh, cured of what ails them. One thing we could do, maybe, is involve a gravity block if we wanted to make it useful. Uh, maybe instead of this, um, this block, we could put a gravity block there. But I don't know if I am going to like... The way that looks. Wait, let's try it though. 
So um, let's look at the logic first. So if we, it's super easy. That button in there activates this flip flop. Um, so when you push the button, it turns on the knot, which hits the signal to flip the rails. Um, it starts this delay chain of five delays, and then that flips the flip flop back, uh, which ejects the uh, the table. So super easy there. Let's take a look at this gravity block idea, though, and see if we like that. Um, if we do this, we'll have to, of course, incorporate a um, another gravity block elsewhere that lets us uh, revert to our regular gravity, but I don't think that'll be a problem. So I think one of the sides says top. Uh, I think. Maybe, the, is this the side that's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we want. So, uh, I mean, that doesn't look so bad. It's it's a little bit bizarre just having a gravity block kind of floating there. Um, let's take a look at it actually in the ship, though. And if we stick the table in... I actually kind of like that, because there's a little person standing there. Yeah, okay. I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to play around with the timing. I think the delay's a little short. But uh, but that's the general idea of how the auto doctor is going to work. The cryo chamber, I'm kind of refining it. I did decide to go with two separate doors, um, and uh, I got to put those doors in. But I'll show you those once we're once we're to a point where we can take a look at them. Yeah, sure, lens cap. That's what I meant to say. Okay, I got the cryopods working. Um, I tried to get them more interesting than this, but there just weren't enough, um, like, characters available on my two, on my, act what are these called? Display blocks, on my display blocks. Um, I wanted to put, like, a, like, an ECG, like a heart rate monitor, and, um, some other information, and if I'd used multiple display blocks, I probably could have, but I don't have the space in the ship, or the patience to deal with it right now, so, <laughs> right now we're gonna have to deal with this. Um... Right now, both doors are closed, so both pods appear to be occupied. If we open one door, then it becomes vacant. And uh, check out this door opening animation. That's kind of cool. And they both do it in opposite directions. Um, but I've got it set up for all four possible states. So both occupied, one vacant, one occupied. What happened? What? Oh, okay, I hit the thing. <laughs> okay, uh, both vacant, and uh, let's see, which which one have I not shown you? Well, they're all available, so it doesn't matter. So, there we go, that's our cryopods, and, uh, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, I wish I had the room to put some more information on these, but maybe for a cryo system in a larger ship, we can redesign that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Project Titan. Um, it's been a blast. I thought we got some really cool stuff uh, developed today. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. But, uh, of course, as always, all very optional. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned.